online because something has just uh, sort of hit me between the eyes um, as I read the scriptures. I've just been looking very briefly at uh, Luke's gospel and I just want to read um, from Luke chapter 10 and it's quite a familiar passage. It says, uh, as they went on their way, Jesus entered a village and a woman named Martha welcomed him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to his teaching. But Martha was distracted with much serving. And she went up to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Tell her then to help me. But the Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and troubled about many things, but one thing is necessary. Mary has chosen the good portion which will not be taken away from her. Now that's quite familiar to all of us and basically it is used to say that, um, to sort of sit in contemplation and uh, uh, at the feet of Jesus is better than sort of working in the kitchen it's, uh, or it's better to have a place like Mary of stillness and uh, contemplative than be all busy like Martha. That's the traditional way of looking at it but it has just struck me between the eyes that there's a lot more to this than what we realise. Uh, what actually was happening here was something radically different than what we think. Um, what was happening here was that Mary, uh, by uh, leaving the kitchen and going to sit at the Lord's feet, was um, positioning herself in the place that was restricted to men only. To sit at the feet of the rabbi, that was the place for men only, and women were not allowed within the culture to receive rabbinical teaching from the rabbi. And when Mary uh, made a break out of the kitchen, she made a, a major radical break for herself personally. Um, but she almost had a foretaste of what Paul said when he said there is no neither male nor female. Uh, Mary had a, a foretaste of the equality of woman uh, at the feet of Jesus, uh, that women were, um, women were had equal rights to receive teaching, to receive revelation as, as men. And so this is what is really behind this. And that's, that is probably one of the reasons why uh, Martha was so, um, so confounded, so offended, so surprised because Mary took it upon herself to break through the traditional um, separate roles of women, where women were meant to facilitate the men who, who received the teaching, but women were not allowed to receive the teaching directly themselves. Mary made a break away from the woman-only enclosure into the place of the men-only enclosure and she really broke down a, a middle wall of enclosure between male and female uh, to show that, um, that, that females, that women, are equal, um, have equal rights to be taught of the Lord as men had. So I just thought I would jump on and share that because it, it has just hit me between the eyes as, as a bit of a revelation and I do hope that it brings more clarity uh, and more freedom to all of us and more confirmation of what we know already in our hearts. Okay, thank you.